What up guys, if you guys are trying to buy the cheapest and most reliable MT online, make sure to go to nbamtstore.com and use the code SHIFT for 5% off your next purchase. All the other info is in the description guys, be sure to check it out. What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And today guys, we got Market Watchers Episode 5. We got these packs that just dropped in um, this week with Diamond Steve Nash, Diamond Chris Weber, Sleepy Floyd, Robert Reed, Doc Rivers, all of that guys. I'm going to go through the new content. Content's coming tomorrow as you guys know. We get content every Tuesday and Friday, every week in 2K. So yeah, always the market's changing based on packs that are dropping new cards. Like we got our first pink diamond last week, if you guys don't know, with the Mono Ginobili. Um, right here, this Mono Ginobili. He's going like roughly like 120K. Like right now, I guess there's one for like, yeah, like 118 with like 20 seconds left. So yeah, around 120K right now that Mono's going for. But yeah, today I'm going to talk about how the market's starting to drop, guys. Again, with new content um, and cards starting to lose their value. A lot of good cards are coming out in the game. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, sell your cards now. I'm going to go through different cards, which cards to sell, which cards to keep that you could keep or sell right now if you guys want. So yeah, it's all about that, guys. I'm going to go through this in, in this market talk um, video. And yeah, like up this video, guys. If you guys want to see more of these videos, subscribe if you're new, as always. Hope you guys really enjoy it. So let's get right into it. So yeah, tomorrow's content, guys, my prediction is probably that we're not going to get another idols one. We might just get another promo, like something similar to this clutch set that we got with like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I doubt we're going to get another idols one. They're going to, as you guys see, it's a mystery player right here. So I think we're going to see like more, we're going to see like them probably do this like every other week, maybe even like every three weeks or something like that. So it's really up to 2k. I really don't see them doing back, doing it back to back weeks. We did get our first pink diamond, so we could see a promo now with that, like either a diamond or a pink diamond, I'm guessing. So yeah, that's going to change the market up, guys. So that's basically it. And then, yeah, going into prices now, like Mono, as I just said, he's around that 120K. He was like around like 130, 140 when he came out. So he is starting to drop. And the thing with Manu, guys, is if you have him right now, let's say you got him for like 100K or something like that. Let's say you could probably keep him right now, invest with him long term. And then because as this locking comes out, his price is going to like increase because of that. Whenever the locking comes out, unless it's like a really bad lock in like last year, we got that Opal Car Malone, which wasn't that good. But yeah, this Manu, I'm pretty sure, will become a higher price. Like, obviously, I can't predict the future, guys. But after that lock-in, his price will start to increase. So you could hold him for that long. But if you just want the MT, like, right now, I'm literally just selling mine. Like, I snapped mine for, like, 90K around there. So I'm just selling it. Hopefully, I can get, like, 120 out of it. That would be, like, a W, a little bit of profit right there. So that's not too bad, guys. And then, um, yeah, in terms of other cards uh, that came out last week, too, again, they come out last week. They're out of packs tomorrow. So, like, Paul George is already starting to drop as people are continuing to pull in. But his price will, like, slightly increase, I think. Like, maybe increase a little bit. But, like, at the end of the day, guys, market will start to drop a lot of good cards. Similar to Paul George. Similar to Alonzo Mourning will come out. So, might as well sell them now while you can secure that profit. Same thing with Chris Stops, guys, if you're holding any of these cards. Because, see, the thing is, I'm usually holding these cards just to like do challenges and stuff like that and then i snipe them to make sure that i don't even lose that much money so if you guys do buy them for full price when they like first come out you might have lost a little bit mt so might as well just secure a little bit more of that mt to keep that um keep that instead of losing more once the market starts to drop even more tomorrow and going into the weekend so yeah my recommendation is guys sell these kind of cards right now and then yeah in terms of like other cards like right here this ben wallace we've been talking about for a while he's like 180k if you got him i would recommend to sell him now too because his price is really high i couldn't really see it going more than this like um ben wallace even same thing with lamar odom like he's out of packs now i saw him going for 150 try to see like maybe like in the middle of the day in the evening time sell him he'll probably be like 150 or 160 even i sold mine for like 156 earlier this week so that wasn't too bad guys and then even random cards like even bailey howell's price is starting to increase as he goes out of packs these kind of cards like you could wait a little bit because if you guys don't know you lock in for these cards for this so i'm gonna talk about one more this doug christie i just put him up he's like 45k but right here if you lock in for gay gary payne right here lock in for dennis robin right here if you're locking for draymond two more of those sets are coming out the next two weeks guys so if you lock in for all five of those you get a pink diamond dr j so that's why a lot of people are trying to do those like sets and all of that guys and then same thing with these spotlight challenges i still got to do play four more games right here if you do they're coming out with these every single week so first week it was, I think, Walt Frazier. This week was Michael Thompson that we got the reward. This week it's Norm Nixon. You guys can see there at the bottom right. So if you do these every week, guys, you lock in all three, then you get a free uh, Diamond Bill Russell. So that's pretty solid, guys, to start out the year. I want a free Diamond Bill Russell that I can play probably at like the power forward position. So yeah, if you guys didn't see my video from yesterday, I did a 30 minute rubies uh, filter snipe challenge, basically just sniping rubies. And I got a bunch of rubies, guys. Check out that video if you guys want to see like how I invest in rubies and stuff. I'm going to talk a little bit about it right now. But yeah, basically, we got these rubies, Robert Reed, Doc Rivers. Right now, their prices are hovering around that 2000 range. Like, yeah, it's around 2000. 
and what i've noticed is every week so starting from this week we got bill wall and tony allen i i sniped a bunch of them invested in them you see right now their price is probably around like 5k or so hovering that 5k 4k mark so yeah like you see some bill walls for like 4k so what you can do is basically snipe a bunch of these um like cards that just come out on packs that day so right now they're like 2000 even if you buy a bunch for 2000 without sniping you can invest with them i literally sniped like at least like, i think it was like 35 of them around 35 of those cards like robert Rees and docker Rees. yeah i even have some patty mills right here i sniped like 35 of them each for like under like 1500 or so so then after that a couple of weeks from now maybe even one week from now i can sell them all for 3000 4000 make like 100k empty profit just from doing that guys so like this is a really good me method especially if you guys have some of these cards even if you just buy one of each card you can wait wait a week or two and then sell them back make a little bit of profit from that guys because like at the end of the day like you really don't need these cards forever like diamond, uh, ruby dock rivers next set will come out tomorrow and i'll be someone better that you like better than this dock rivers better than this robert reed or even better than like this kenny smith actually kenny smith's really solid guys he's a really solid budget card if you guys don't have him but yeah andre Iguodala. like there's probably different better cards that come out instead of them ray allen's still pretty solid i like using him i don't have any of these amethysts um even this diamond jason kid yeah, his price is starting to increase too. I actually haven't checked his price because people still want this Jerry West. The Jerry West is not a bad card. So yeah, um, yeah. As you guys see, investing in these rubies, I totally recommend. And yeah, so now in terms of like a team, so you guys see right here, I got a decent amount of cards. So Paul George, Alonzo Mourning, I'm just trying to do some challenges with them, like the unlimited steals. Alonzo Mourning trying to get some blocks with him and stuff like that. But mainly like Sleepy Floyd, I just I'm trying him out. Also, Louis Scola is really cheap, so I just add him to my team. Ray Allen also is a really good shooter, so I have him there. But mainly what you guys want to do is just have some reward cards on your team. Like Nick Van Essel's a reward card. Scotty, um, Scotty Pippen is. He's from that. He's just, if you get to like level 33, I think. So like level 33 or level 34 will be free. Um, this guy, Sam Perkins, is a pretty solid shooter. Obviously, the starter card, Shaq. Try to have as many reward cards as possible if you guys are a no money spent team. It, like, it just really helps out your team, saving up MT and all of that. Hopefully, after I sell a bunch of things, I'm going to sell, finish up challenges with Paul George and Alonzo Morning later today. Hopefully, it'll be like around 500, 600K mark around then. Um, we'll see about that and then obviously after I sell all these rubies and everything I'll be a little bit higher 700k hopefully something like that guys we'll see once I sell everything I just got a bunch of like assets everywhere even just like these cards I'm waiting to sell oh I got to sell Cody Zell and Miles Bridges because they just came out with challenges for those guys and then yeah again one thing I always say is to look at challenges that are coming out obviously we're getting challenges that come out for the new uh, promos every time they come out like playoff dimers playoff stoppers um, what else did we had I forgot what the other ones were but, like idol series and all that even these random division guys so like Make sure you're looking at which players like rock if you got rockets players grizzlies players spurs players pelicans players any of those guys sell them right away to secure some profit and all of that and then again if you guys got these cards they go up a lot and then also with moments challenges if you guys got tyler hero i know he's going for like 13k earlier just because of these challenges that came out 37 points in a single game he really went off yesterday that was crazy bam out of bio jimmy butler same thing guys so yeah definitely make sure you guys are doing these challenges i'm almost at level 36 i'll probably come out with a ascension video later today level 36 ascension hopefully i still haven't gotten that uh bob lanier where is he at um i don't think we can see the ascension yeah if you guys don't know ascensions like this uh this arrow if you guys get a level with this arrow that's that means you get ascension so i'm like less than a thousand xp away from this next ascension 725 and then you can get a chance at a pink diamond uh bob lanier so i'm gonna try that out guys hopefully i can do it yeah right here bob lanier there's no completion collection but yeah Hopefully I can do it, guys. Be sure to check out that video soon. That's going to come out a little bit later today. And yeah, that's basically it. Market talk, guys. Make sure you sell your cards right now. Market is starting to, to, um, to drop a little bit. So make sure you guys secure some MT. Always want to secure MT early game, guys. Because if you have MT late game, you can basically do whatever you want with it. Like I had over a mil, almost like two mil MT. I had over two mil MT around late game last year. Just playing around, locking in collections I want to do, getting some cards, playing around with cards that I wanted. So yeah, definitely trying that out. Make sure you guys save up your MT for late game. That's literally what the move is every year, guys. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Like up this video if this helped you out. Subscribe if you're new. As always, we're on that road to 2,000 subs. Hope you really enjoyed it and have a nice rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.